How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and enjoy the content that I provide, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. It really helps out the channel. So I've officially moved on from my uh, job flying Cirrus and Meridians to uh, flying for the regional airlines. Now don't get me wrong, I was very happy where I was in my previous job flying the equipment that I flew and the people that I got to fly around. I got to meet a lot of interesting people, made a lot of friends, um, and met you guys, obviously. Um, but ultimately, um, there is a big demand for airline pilots, and I've had my eye on a specific regional airline that would ultimately help me push through to a major airline that I've been aiming for since I can remember. And if I didn't get that interview with the regional airline I'm with now, then I definitely would have stayed with my previous job and kept flying single engine Cirrus aircraft and um, Meridians and anything else that came my way. There's a lot of home study that is involved when starting ground school with the regionals. You first go through something called INDOC, which is basically company, company manuals, policies, limitations, where to find all of these. Uh, then you move on to general subjects, which basically covers more of the flying policies, uh, pretty much do's and don'ts, how flying times are calculated, how alternates are determined, etc. Uh, basically goes through a lot of uh, FARs or CFRs uh, for the 121 world. After that, uh, then there's uh, systems, which is basically about a week, maybe a week and a half or so. Uh, and it's one of the harder subjects for a lot of people. You learn everything about the aircraft in this stage, from the engines to the hydraulics to the landing gear, uh, fire protection, um, you name it, anything that's in the aircraft or that's part of the aircraft, you learn in this uh, time. Now the fun part begins when you start procedures training. As you saw earlier, chair flying with a poster is the best way to study for this. You practice every normal procedure in this phase, going from cold and dark first flight of the day procedures to takeoff, to cruise, to aircraft shutdown at the gate after a flight. After a few of these, you have something called a procedures validation, also known as PV, which is like a stage check in order to move on to the next phase of your training. After PV, you move on to maneuvers training. This is done in a level D full motion simulator and is almost just like flying the real aircraft. You learn the handling characteristics of the airplane in every phase of flight. On top of that, there are plenty of abnormal and emergency situations you learn to deal with during a flight. As you may have guessed, after this there's a maneuvers validation, which also acts as a stage check in order to move on. After successfully passing your maneuvers validation, there are a few LOSs or line operation simulation flights that take place in the simulator. These are flights simulated to be as a normal day at the company, and there's almost certainly an abnormality to be thrown in the flight at some point. And finally, you have LOE, Line Operational Experience, also known as your check ride. It's exactly what you'd expect on a normal check ride. You go through documentation at the beginning, there's an oral exam talking about aircraft systems, and you go through a pre flight PowerPoint pictorial to simulate a walk around before a flight. Then you hop into the simulator. You're given a flight plan and you start off as pilot monitoring. You get one leg of the flight done and do a second leg as pilot flying. Upon passing, you are issued your new temporary certificate, and just like that, you are an ATP rated pilot.